In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the anatomy of a OneNote notebook. Think of a OneNote like you would a regular binder. Just like a binder, OneNote has different sections. In this graphic representation, you see math, biology, history. Those are different sections of the notebook. And within each section, there are pages, and you can have as many pages as necessary in each section. The pages within a notebook can contain just about any kind of content that you would need. You can also group sections into a subgroup. The page that you're actually looking at right now is on a page in one of our notebooks. However, it's in presentation mode, so it's taking up the entire screen. To take it out of presentation mode, just click the slanted double-edged arrow in the upper right corner, and it takes it out of presentation mode. In this actual OneNote notebook, you see the different sections. You have a first things section, a few skills section, class notebooks section, and so on. Each of these sections contain pages that are listed on the right hand side of the screen. Each section contains its own group of pages, as you can see listed on the right hand side. And you can see here, use in 5e lessons, use in centers, these are subgroups. On the left hand side is the bookshelf. This is where all your OneNote notebooks set. Once a notebook is opened in the desktop version, whether it's from your hard drive or from your OneDrive, it will remain here until you close it. Once again, this is called the bookshelf. I'm sure you noticed that my bookshelf is stationary. However, if you'd rather have more workspace, you can hide the bookshelf by clicking on the pin at the top, and now you have more workspace. You can always get to your bookshelf by clicking on the tab at the top where the title of your notebook is, and you can see here you can still get to all of your different notebooks. If you'd like to bring your bookshelf back to have it stationary, there are two ways you can do that. You can click the drop down and click the pin, or you can double click on the tab and it will pop it back into place. And that is the OneNote Notebook Anatomy in two.